Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I want to review Daddy's Home 1 and 2 in 4K UHD Blu-ray. Now, let's just go over the movies quickly. Now, Daddy's Home 1 was a guilty pleasure of mine. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I actually found the dynamic duo between Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell hilarious. I really like them in the other guys, so I was excited to see them in this. And for me, it paid off. So it is a PG-13 comedy, so you're not going to get stuff as raunchy as the other guys. But I thought it was a really funny dad comedy with divorced parents myself. I thought it was something funny and kind of relatable how two dads come in and they're kind of fighting for the position and just different takes on being a father. Now let's get to the second film, and I just watched that last night, and I will say it did not disappoint. Now, don't get me wrong, the second one was very good and had its really funny moments, but I just don't think it was as good as the first, but very close. Now, the things I really liked about the second was the dynamic between Will Ferrell and John Lithgow and Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg. They were great together. Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson were very, very realistic as father and son, and were just great how angry and stubborn they got with each other. And John Lithgow was a perfect match for Will Ferrell's character in here. Just a lovable mushy guy and altogether a great comedy i do highly recommend it for anybody a fan of the first one and it's worth giving a watch at least renting it now let's get to the picture quality so i'm gonna go over the second one first so this was shot on an 8k red epic weapon and i'm not sure what the digital intermediate is i couldn't find it online but what i will say about the transfer is that it looks absolutely phenomenal now the increase in detail and depth here is astounding it really is there is so much detail here whether it be on the stubble on someone's face whether it be a lot of sweaters are worn you could see literally every fabric in the sweater i mean the landscape here you could see every single pebble on the ground this is a very detailed movie. Now, like I said in some of my other reviews, these comedies tend to be very nice because they're digitally shot. So this is digitally shot, but it doesn't have that overly realistic look, like something like Why Him Did. That looks super real, a little too real, like a TV show. This still keeps that cinematic look, but just looks extremely detailed. Now, the depth here is also good. There's a couple 3D scenes where something is either falling on Will Ferrell or he's falling, as you probably know from, like, the first one, and the 3D effect is pretty good there as well. The black levels are deep and inky throughout. Now, don't get me wrong, most of this takes place in the daytime, so there isn't much nighttime scenes, but when it is nighttime, you get nights consistent blacks throughout. Now let's get to the Dolby Vision aspect. So these, both of these discs do have Dolby Vision as well as HDR, and the Dolby Vision looks fantastic. So this is a very bright movie, the second one being even brighter than the first, and the first is bright as well, so most of, most of it is daytime shots, and most of it is just colorful things. You'll get a lot of reds, greens, blues, yellows, and the one thing I'll say in Daddy's Home 2 that stood out a lot was red and green. I understand that they were going for the Christmas theme, but it was almost like they color graded the red and the green to stand out more those colors really pop off the screen there was one scene in particular that was amazing for the dolby vision was will ferrell uh gets into an altercation with some christmas lights that's really all i'll say without spoiling it in the nighttime and that's a great display of hdr with the bright christmas lights amongst the inky black sky it looks wonderful and there's nothing to complain about on the dolby vision or the hdr front now let's get to the audio quality. So this surprisingly has a Dolby Atmos mix. And I mean, with comedies, you're not gonna get an insane amount out of the Dolby Atmos mix, but it's really nice that they included it. I actually watched this on the Xbox One X with those Atmos headphones just to give it a test. And I will say that the overheads were used slightly, but I did not get to test it on a real Dolby Atmos system, so I won't really be rating that. Anyway guys, do I think this is worth the double dip? It's really a hard one. I wish this was priced differently because I, I believe they're asking $24.99 or $29.99 for each title on release. I feel they should have done like a double pack for $30 bucks or a double pack for $40. Bucks. It'd be easier to purchase that way. But as of right now, I mean, they are really nice upgrades. Don't get me wrong. But it's just a very high asking price. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me know down below. Subscribe down below for more content. Have a good night, guys.